Hello everyone and welcome back and in this video I will show you a certain type of the attack which is called session fixation which is basically used when the owner of the website misconfigured in the website creation or basically anyone who created that website it allowed uh, that user becomes the that some of the information that user sends to the server becomes the ID of that session now, before we get into that, I just want to show you another attack, which is most, which most likely you will not come across, um, especially not on some of the bigger websites. You might come across on it for some of the smaller websites, since it is basically a flaw in the cookie itself, in the session ID itself. If the session ID is not random enough, sometimes you can basically guess the session ID of some of the other user or just find a valid session ID so in order to show you what I'm talking about just open up your burp suit and on your virtual machine uh, which is the OWASP just go here on the OWASP webcoat if it asks you to log in just type here webcoat webcoat and after that you want to go on to the session management flaws right here and here you want to go on to the hijack a session now as we can see right here we are prompted in with the username and password now what we want to do is basically turn our intercept on and type here anything and send our post request and as we can see it is right here and what I'm talking about is this weak ID. Now it is called weak ID since it is, since it is purposely made weak for this attack. And for the first time of you looking at it, this might seem like a really random number, but it isn't. It is actually really easy to guess it. I will just show you how you can generate a lot of cookie requests or different requests in order to see, uh, for example, 10,000 different cookies and in order to compare them and see which values change in this session ID and which values don't and after you do that you can basically try to guess the session ID with it but we won't be going through the entire attack since it could take some time I'll just show you how you can check out the if the ID of that session is uh, weak or not so once we do that, we want to turn on our intercept off, the invalid username and password, of course. Now we want to go to the target, find the page that we send the username and password to. So I'm not really sure where that is. I'm not even sure what I typed as username and password, so let me just find it right here. It's not this. Which page is it? This is screen 72 menu. 180. Okay, so we want to find the web code. Here it is, something with web code. Let us just find the packet right here. So we search for the web code path. Here it is. Let me just see, it's not this one, it's not this one, it's not this one, it's not this one. Here it is, it's this one. As we can see, our username ggsfg. So, what we want to do from here is you want to right click on the packet and send it to sequencer. So, once you go to the sequencer, it will light up this part right here. So, just click on the sequencer and you will see that it already set the form uh, field to be weak ID right here. So, what you want to do it gives you a bunch of other options which you want to select is your session ID and once you do that and click on the start live capture it will basically gather a lot of cookie values and it will see if the value of cookies is random enough or it or if it can be predicted so let's go and start live capture and as we can see right here, it would start sending a bunch of packets and gathering different cookie values. 
and once it gathers enough, it can tell us if the cookie value is random enough for it to be well protected. If it is not random enough, we will be able to guess another valid cookie value, which can basically make you enter someone else's session. So, for example, if I send a wrong username and password and I scan the cookie and send a bunch of other requests and scan the other cookies and find out that the randomness of the numbers is not high, I can guess someone else's cookie session and basically enter their, for example, profile on, on Facebook, for example, without even knowing the username or password. But this is the attack that you most likely will never ever encounter, since it really must be a misconfigured website in order for this to be possible. Today's website have cookie values that you cannot possibly predict, since they are really, really random. And once this finishes, or we do not even need to wait for it to finish, I think we can click here Analyze now. You can see that the overall result, the overall quality of randomness within the sample is estimated to be extremely poor. So as we can see, it says that the randomness of the cookie is extremely poor. Significance level, if we go, for example, to the count, you can see some of the character sets, which basically just show you how many characters appear and where. The let me just find right here if there is anything interesting for us. But basically, this uh, the entropy is the value of the randomness, and if you want to, you can check out other options and outputs as well. But I just wanted to show you this that you can scan for the weakness of the website ID with this method. We won't be pursuing the attack since there is no point. As I said, this is the attack that you most likely will never encounter. So let me just close this and let us go on to the attack that I wanted to show you, which was the session fixation attack. Now, this session fixation attack is done through link. And right now I will show you how to do it. So it is under the same uh, subsection, which is the session management flaws and just click here on the session fixation. Now, it will say right here, uh, you are a hacker Joe and you want to steal the session from Jane. Send a prepared email to the victim, which looks like an official email from the bank. So basically, as you can see, we have an example of the email and here we want to send something uh, within a link that will make us be able to hack another account without knowing the username or password. Now, we know that, that this page right here is vulnerable to the session ID being imported into the link itself, sending it to someone, and if someone clicks on that link, it will have already pre-made session ID that you typed into the link. And once you know that session ID, you can basically log in or basically just enter their account without using username or password. So let me show you how that is done. If we go right here, and if we look at the contents of the email, we can see that there is a link referring to the WebGoat attack screen, 56 menu, 1800. What you want to do is basically, you want to add this sign after the 1800, and after that you want to type here SID, which stands for session ID, equals and then type here any random number. So for me, I will type here 555. And we also want to put the entire link between quotes. So href in the HTML code stands for referring to a certain page. So when someone clicks on this, it will lead them to this page. But we added the session ID, so it will lead them to the same page, but it will have the session ID already pre-configured by us in the link. So once you do that, you want to make sure that the page is correct. So as we can see, WebGoat attack is the same as here, but the WebGoat is capital W and capital G right here. So we want to change that in the link as well, so capital G and capital W, and once we do that, you can send the email 
we specify our fake session ID or not fake our session ID for the victim to be 555 so if it clicks on link and logs in with that session ID we will be able to uh, to access that account so if we send an email as an attacker we can see we can turn the intercept off so let us just turn this off right here and we get to the stage two of this attack as we can see you completed stage one now we are acting as a victim so let's say the victim received this email which was the email that we sent right now and this is the link that we specify the session ID. As you can see down here in the left corner of the page, we can see the entire link. And we can also see our session ID specified as SID equals 555. So let's say the victim gets this uh, email and it looks like a legit email and it clicks on this. It will lead her or him to a login page where it will ask them for username or password just as any other page. But if we can see right here on the link, we already have our session ID specified. And as soon as someone types here and logs in, we will be able to access that account. Now, we also want to ask, uh, act as a victim right here. And as we can see, stage three, the bank has asked you to verify your data, log in to see if your details are correct. Your username is Jane and your password is Tarzan. So just type here Jane and Tarzan as password and you click here on don't save. Now it says it is time to steal the session now. Use following link to reach Good Hills Financial. Your hacker Joe. You completed stage 3. So we know that uh, the Jane has logged into the bank account and what we want to do we want to basically go to our lock screen. So this is just a regular uh, lock screen and we as a hacker want to log into that session. But we do not know the username and password for that session. We only know the session ID. So well, what we want to do is turn the intercept on. And right here we type here anything, which is not correct. So just type here anything random. And here we will have the request post request. Now, if you were to just forward this, it will say wrong username or password, since this is a wrong username or password. But what we want to do right here is we want to go up and find the link, as we can see right here, this is the link. And under the SID, we want to change that to the session of our victim. And we know that because we set it in the link to be 555. And now if we forward this packet, it will basically log in into the victim's account without us even knowing the username or password. As we can see, we typed something random, random username, random password. And if we click here forward, we can see, congratulations, you have successfully completed the session. And we are in victim's account. First name Jane, last name Plain, credit card type MC, credit card number, and then this. So this is an attack that you might encounter. So that's why it's called the session fixation, since we, even before our victim has logged in, we already fixed the session in the link in order for us to know it later on once the target has logged in with that session. So that's about it for this attack. Uh, in the next tutorials, we will continue with the perp suit. And from now on, uh, I hope you're having a great day and take care. Bye.